West Indian exile Ramner S. Sarwan was again in the runs, but neither his Leicestershire side nor Essex could take their LV County Championship match by the scruff of its neck on the penultimate day. Leicestershire had been buoyed by the dismissal of the dangerous Tom Wesley for 81 to the last ball of the previous evening, and that meant that Essex resumed their first innings on the third morning on 239 for 5, 133 runs behind, with the second new ball available early on. Ben Folkes, a 19-year-old from Colchester and making his championship debut, didn't let that bother him and he was soon impressing. Starting the day on 16, he played some lovely shots to whittle away Leicestershire's advantage. His excellent balance at the crease was noticeable, as was his timing. This shot, which took him to his maiden 50 off 72 balls, was typical. It brought him his ninth four. He had a perfect foil at the other end in his captain, James Foster, and the two of them added 87 for the sixth wicket. So the total read 326 when Foster on 26 nicked a jagging, almost unplayable delivery from Matthew Hoggard behind. Folks was joined by Graham Napier with Essex only 46 runs behind, and so these two would have had the plan to sail past Leicestershire's total of 372 to then put their batsmen under some pressure second time around. Folks, with only one first-class game to his name before this one, took his side to 362 and he looked set for a maiden century on debut until the nervous 90s undid him as he nicked Wayne White behind for 93 just after coming back out after lunch. Napier just threatened to do what he's very capable of, destroying opposition attacks, but this six off Claude Henderson ended up being his only one. He edged a drive off Henderson to Ned Eckersley to depart for 35 with a lead at 27. Eckersley then claimed his fifth catch of the innings as David Masters couldn't defend a short delivery from White, who then claimed his third five-wicket haul of the summer by bowling Charles Willoughby for a duck. White ended with excellent figures of 5 for 74 as Essex were all out for 409. That gave them a lead of only 37, but that has been enough to cause Leicestershire's top-order problems this season. This time, Will Jefferson avoided the pair in his first game of the season and knocked off 20 of those runs with Matt Boyce. Boyce was out for three, nicking Willoughby behind. And when Greg Smith soon followed, turning Masters to Folks at short leg on seven, the home side were two down before they restored parity in terms of runs. Sarwan is getting used to coming to the crease with the shine still on the new ball. Those who witnessed the West Indians collapse at Lords on Thursday will know what the man from Guyana would bring to their side. Their loss, however, is certainly Leicestershire's gain, and after scoring 117 runs in the first innings of this match, he was again showing what a cool batsman he really is. The timing of these two innings could hardly have been better. He added a half-century to his first innings full one with a drive for a single. He'd got there this time off 73 balls with seven fours and was starting to pull his side clear of Essex once more. Jefferson fell one run short of his own 50. After surviving for two and a quarter hours, he was caught in two mines by Willoughby and nicked off. He went after a 97-run stand with Sarwan, who was now looking to go on to record back-to-back -back hundreds in this game. But that will have to wait until the final day, which he'll go into on 61 out of his side's 148 for three, after Bad Light ended play slightly early. That gives Leicestershire a lead of 111 runs, and if they could push on in the morning, then a result one way or the other may still be possible, as well as another 100 for the sensational Sarwan.